Welcome back to Chris TV Triple Zero. And I have a crazy story I'm going to share with y'all today. You know, today's story is brought to you by NBC News. And this is where I get a good portion of my um, content from. But with that being said, um, this isn't a sad story. This is a disturbing and disgusting story of Howard University. So, um, hope you guys have a good blessed day. Stay positive and always do a good deed. How has your experience been as a freshman at Howard so far? I can't lie, I definitely have been disappointed in my experience here. For more than a week, students at Howard University have been camping out to protest poor living conditions on campus. They say they've been facing big problems in dorms and dining halls for weeks. Things like bugs, water leaks, and even mold. I talked with freshman Chandler Robinson about what it's been like. Students are still being exposed to mold. They're being taken to the hospital, coughing up blood, just really sick. We also didn't have Wi-Fi for five to six weeks. So that's another struggle on campus. How has all of this impacted your education and your classes? I can't say that I'm really being educated just because students are tired and so is faculty. Faculty has made it very clear that they are struggling also. Being five weeks behind in my classes is, is very difficult. It's very difficult to catch up. How would you describe the communication between administration and students? There is none. Um, or very few, if any, when we can't have transparent conversations with our faculty and hold each other accountable, then issues like this happen. Howard is an HBCU with this legacy of excellence, I feel like. Do you see this issue ever being redeemable? I am currently a proud student, not because I'm proud of the situations happening on campus, but because I'm proud of my peers. I'm proud of us being the first in so many years to stand up to bring light to the issues that so many before us were scared to. We reached out to Howard University about all of this earlier this week and haven't heard back. But in statements posted to social media, the school says health and safety is a top priority and that they've opened a dialogue with students and want to find a path forward. 